So the writing was on the wall that Pluto's days were numbered. <laughs> well, in the 1990s, there's a folk singer who took note of this. And I'm a big fan of when science influences the creativity of artists, where science becomes the artist's muse. And I heard this song called Planet X. No, I will not sing it. I have something better. I will get the original writer and performer of Planet X, Christine Lavin. Come on out, Christine Lavin. I want a hug from you, Christine. In my book, The Pluto Files, chronicling the rise and decline of Pluto, I had to make sure that every word of every lyric from her song, Planet X, is in an appendix of that book because it is itself a lesson plan in the plight of America's favorite planet. And you agreed graciously at 2 o'clock this afternoon to come in here and sing this song for us. So, Christy Lavin. In Arizona, at the turn of the 20th century, astromathematician Percy Lowell was searching for what he called Planet X because he knew deep down in his soul that an unseen gravitational presence meant a new planet spinning in the air joining the other eight already known circling our sun up there but Percival Lowell died in 1916 his theory, only a theory Till 1930 when Clyde Tombaugh in a scientific query Discovered Planet X 3.7 billion miles from our sun A smallish ball of frozen rock, methane and nitrogen It joined Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune our solar system's newest neighbor, two-thirds the size of our moon. A tiny, barely visible speck, cold, minus 440 below. Not exactly paradise. They name the planet... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that same year, 1930, Walt Disney debuted his own Pluto as well. But a cartoon dog with the very same name as the CEO of hell. Oh, that was not your normal Disney style. Most thought he was riding the coattails of Pluto mania sweeping the land. Not unlike our modern love for manatees and whales. For the next five decades, mysterious Pluto captivated our minds. As late as 1978, its own moon, Charon, was seen for the very first time. But now, satellites and telescopes and computer calculations say that Pluto may not be a planet at all, creating great consternation. Some scientists say that Pluto is a trans-Neptunian interloper swept away by an unknown force. Or a remnant of a wayward comet somehow sucked off course. Others say Pluto is an asteroid in the sun's gravitational pull. But if you had asked Clyde Tombaugh, he would have told you that's all bull. I get hundreds of letters from kids every year, he says. It's Pluto, the planet they love. It's not Pluto the comet, it's not Pluto the asteroid. They wonder about above. And at the International Astronomical Union Working Group for Planetary System Nomenclature. <laughs> You're probably the first audience who knows that's a real club. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> they too say that Pluto is a planet reinforcing Clyde Tombaugh's view of nature. Norwegian Carrie X. Ness, professor at the Theoretical Astrophysics Institute. He too says, Pluto is a planet, and a significant one to boot. But at the University of Colorado, astronomer Larry Esposito says, if Pluto were discovered today, it would not be a planet. End of discussion, finito. He says that Pluto was definitely not spun off from solar matter like the other eight planets we know. 
by every scientific measurement we have Is Pluto a planet? No And now many astronomy textbooks refer to Pluto as less than a planet I guess if Pluto showed up at a planet convention The bouncer might be forced to ban it St. Christopher is looking down on this and he says Pluto, I can relate when I was demoted from sainthood, I gotta tell you, little buddy, it didn't feel real great. And Scorpios look up in despair because Pluto rules their sign. Is now reading their daily horoscope just a futile waste of time? <laughs> it takes 248 Earth years for Pluto to circle our sun. It's tiny and it's cold, but of all heavenly bodies, it was Clyde Tombaugh's favorite one. Till he was 92, he worked every day in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Determined to maintain the planetary status of his beloved Pluto. But how now do we deal with it? Scientists think they have proof that Pluto is never a planet. How do we handle this truth? As the PhDs all disagree, who is wrong, who is right? But wherever you are, whatever you are, Pluto, we know you're up there tonight. And on July 14th, you got to see the new Horizons Express. Fly by and take pictures of your way cool surface to send to your webpage address. S-E-E-P-L-U-T-O-N-O-W.com SeePlutoNow.com You got your own webpage for little guy Pluto? You're the bomb! Yes, at the turn of the 20th century Astro-mathematician Percival Lowell In his quest for Planet X Started this ball to roll But here in the 21st century we think he may have been a little off base So we look at the sky and wonder what new surprises await us in outer space We look at the sky and we 